wouldn't say real estate is booming in Bozeman. I mean, it was during COVID. You saw houses that were listed and were going within a few hours, way over asking price. Now we're kind of seeing it level out. Houses are sitting um, underpriced what they were two years ago during COVID. But Bozeman is still a really desirable market, so I think it's still competitive. I just don't think booming is gonna be the right word to use right now. We are seeing a shift in the market right now where things are a little bit quieter, but comparing it to other areas, our cost of living is still higher. The entry level of homes is still higher. There's still lower inventory on the market and there's still a very high demand for it. And people, there are a lot of buyers just waiting for that shift to occur to really jump Prices up. have certainly stabilized. They haven't gone down in any significant fashion, but people, I'd say it's definitely leaning more towards a, a balance between a buyer and a seller's market. More opportunity for buyers to pay for prices under asking, be able to have the seller pitch in for closing costs or temporary rate buy downs where interest rates are the main driving factor as to why the market has cooled or slowed down in the last six to 12 months. You know, it's still a place people want to be. So I, I think, you know, I still think an investment in the Valley is still a wise investment if you're looking at it long term. I think we had so many people that came in 20 and, you know, saw these home values increase so quickly that it's, it's a deterrent for a lot of people to want to buy because there's so much uncertainty behind it. But Bozeman is always going to be a place people want to be. So I think any, like I said, any investment, you know, whether that be Bozeman or the Valley itself, you know, is a, is a, as a long term purchase is a wise decision still.